Okay, in this next tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a scanner in File Director. So the first thing you've got to do is make sure that you have the scanner pre-installed and you've got the drivers from the manufacturer's website. So we, we, we page on down here, we will find the Isis and Twain driver and you want to download the latest version. Once that's downloaded and installed, back in your control panel, when you go to view scanners and cameras, you should see your, your scanner listed. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration I've got a Canon P215 scanner attached. If I go into the properties of that I can see that the device is ready, it's connected up to my computer. So I'm all set to move on to the next stage. Okay, so if you bring up your um, file director enterprise manager, as you can see we've got the system configuration at the top, uh, but then we have the cabinets listed. Um, now a scan profile is unique to the cabinet, so if you've got multiple cabinets you need to send, set up multiple scan profiles. So if I click into um, scan profiles, at the moment I've got two which are import um, uh, profiles, but I'm going to create a new one for my Canon scanner. So I'm going to right click and select new. First thing I'll do is give it a name, so I'm going to call it the P215 which is the model of scanner I've got. Call it Canon P-215 as a description. At this stage I can say what document type that this scanner profile will be scanning into. I can either pre-select it from the list or I can say choose job cards but tick this box allow to change manually. This means that if the user wants to be able to select a different document type they can do. Um, at this stage if you have created an OCR profile you can enable it here. I'm going to come on to that in a different tutorial so we'll ignore that for now. The next step up here is we need to choose how we're going to connect to the scanner. Now we've got three ways of doing that. We can either use direct which is Spielberg or file director's um, kind of connection to the scanner. We can use ISIS which is a license feature or we can use Twain. So for the purpose of this demonstration I'm going to select Twain. When I do that it automatically tells me which scanner drivers, Twain scanner drivers, I have connected to my PC at the moment. So I'm going to select the one that I want which is the Canon P215 and click select. Now at this stage I should get the scanner pop-up box appearing. Now this is the kind of connection between file director and the scanner's own driver and from here I can change some of the settings. So for example I might say I want to be scanning in black and white but at 300 dpi. I might want to be scanning both sides front and back and I can choose a compression level with 100% being the whole image um, or 10% being highly compressed so I'm going to select 100% I don't want any compression. Now the other thing we can do here is we can decide whether or not the Canon scan dialog box is going to appear or not so to start with I'm going to say yes I'm going to have that box ticked. If I move on to the second tab this is where file director gives you some more settings. Do you want automatic um, blank page removal set up through file director? If you do, you can choose this button here. Um, you can then decide how many pixels you want on the page. It always defaults to 2.5, but we recommend about 1% coverage. That means if you scan both sides at the same time, it will take out the blank pages. Okay, so a couple of other features here. We can either select DSKU, which uh, a file director will attempt to DSKU the images, um, or we can say whether or not we want these scanned images converted to PDFA. PDFA is the archiving variant of PDF. I'm going to say no, I'm going to leave that unticked because I want to keep them as standard TIFF files to start with. On the second tab, we've got um, some opportunities here if we wanted to. Um, add some noise removal or line removal. Generally the scanner drivers can do a better job of that than file director will. Um, so once we've done that I can click OK and the next thing I'm going to do is OK again here and then my scan profile is set actually, it's all ready to go. If I right click on that and choose security I can actually decide from here as well who has access to this scan profile. So if the user who's logging in isn't listed here you can add them in from the list of file director users and make sure they've been granted access to this scanning profile. Okay if we now go into launch the win client and log in when we click on our scan tab over here 
we should now have the three scanning profiles including the P215. As you can see the uh, OCR facility here isn't enabled because we haven't set that up. We're scanning into job cards which is the default one I told it to scan into um, but I could select documents if I wanted to another document type. Now over on the icon bar up here we've got three icons Oh, sorry, well, th yeah, three key icons here. That one there, the, the one on the left, is just to clear the fields in case there was any index information left over. This icon here means scan as a batch. So that means it's going to keep on scanning the pages into one particular file. So you would have one line entry down here in your hit list. This one here, scan single pages, means every single page of the document is going to be um, represented as a separate line in the um, hit list below. Now this, uh, I, this fourth icon here on the right hand side gives you a whole bunch of options if you wanted to insert some pages into an already pre-scanned document but when we're kicking off a scan from new then we don't necessarily need that straight away. But if I hit the scan batch button here I should then, first thing I'm going to get up is the Canon scan dialog box because if you remember we actually had a little tick box back in the Enterprise Manager on the profile telling us to display the interface. So at this stage I can say, I can give it a, a, a whole lot more um, detail to work with. Black and white, match original size, so it's basically auto page size detection, 300 dpi and I'm going to give it, I'm going to tell it here actually that I want to scan both sides and take the blank pages out which is simplex is single sided, duplex is double sided, skip blank page is the intelligent blank page removal. We've already got a tick box down here which is Canon's way of uh, de-skewing the images. Normally the brightness settings will be auto configured or you just leave them by default. Um, some other image processing features on the driver you might have things like border removal or we've got one here prevent bleed through or remove background which is a useful setting. Stopping double feeds, uh, there are some options normally on the feeding tab. On this particular scanner I can uh, detect double feeds by length, uh, which I can enable. Um, on most scanners they also have ultrasonic, uh, which we recommend that you just tick that one and you don't, you don't tick the length one. The difference is that ultrasonic is, is looking for uh, double feeds intelligently using ultrasonic sensors, whereas length, basically it's expecting the same size page every time and if the page size is different it's going to think that it's got a double feed so it's not quite as clever. Then on the others tab that there'll be document orientation and rapid recovery system for example is quite useful if there's a, a, a jam or something like that the scanner will recover a lot more quickly. So if we hit the scan button now okay what I've got here is a three page document and as you can see down here, the three pages are in one particular document. OK, if we wanted to split the pages at any time, then we can do. So if I wanted to make that into a two-page and a one-page document, if I move over to the Edit tab up here, I can use the minus icon to split the document. If I want to join them back up again, I can use the plus icon to make them into a three-page document. So that's a really neat little feature here. So just going back over that again, if we want to split the document, we select the page where we want it to split. We use the minus icon to split the document up. Uh, so this covers things like scanning the morning post where you could stick all the pages in in one go, scan it, you might have a 30 page document and then work your way down through the thumbnails and splitting the document where you need to. Obviously once you've scanned a document, you might need to then, or you will need to index it. So for argument's sake, if we were um, creating job cards here, one index field, I might just say 12399 is the index. I click the save button here which means save and move on to the next document. And then the next thing we're going to need to do is archive that off to the server. So right click check in document archive which is the F9 button and then we're back up here with our two page document and then if say for argument's sake that that was actually uh, needed to go under the documents document type rather than job cards one then all we would do is populate that with some index information and hit the save button and then archive that off in exactly the same way. Okay, so that's um, how you do uh, scanning.
with file director you use the scan tab and if you remember you've got the um, batch scan button the single page button and then these extended scan actions which I'm going to demonstrate now so if we retrieve a document say we've got one here which is the uh, picking list 515 pages and I want to scan some additional pages in at the end let's get to the so we select the document we go to the last page we move over to the scan tab um, and then all I'm going to do here is I need to put a page in at the end so I put my page into the scanner I select um, append pages and I hit the scan I'm going to change this to um, no, the scan settings are fine. Click the scan button. OK. And now what we should have is a 516 page document. We just put that extra page on the end. If uh, The last thing to do is check that document in. Right click, check in. If we bring that document up now, our 516 page document, if we go into the revisions tab, we can now see that there's three revisions. Um, there's two revisions here and then the third one is where we added the extra page in so it's recorded the extra page into the history of the document as well so if we go into the document info and look at the history of the document we can see here that it was uh, modified uh, at 1308 today when I'm doing the video okay so that's fine so if you go back over to the uh, scan tab just to recap that we have some extended settings here and that's useful for inserting pages into the middle of an existing document or appending documents so by all means play around with those settings as well so that concludes this tutorial I'm going to show you in another tutorial how to use OCR to read things like barcodes which we've got down here or how to use Zonely look for information on the page if we wanted to record a um, piece of information on the page as it comes through we can use Zonal OCR for that as well so I hope this uh, tutorial is useful uh, and uh, best of luck scanning thanks